In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Father Bill Kenny, pastor at Holy Spirit Catholic Church, chaplain at Bishop Gorman High School. We celebrate today the 29th Sunday of Ordinary Time. In today's gospel, Jesus teaches us that our glory lies in serving others. Let us prepare to celebrate this liturgy by asking the Lord Jesus to forgive us for the times we have sought glory for ourselves in other ways. Lord Jesus, you are the good teacher who shows us the way to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Savior who gave your all for us. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you love us and call us to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us praise God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Though his suffering, through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel, the good news, according to Mark. James and John, these sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. Jesus replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit, one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, we can. Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give but it's for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten apostles heard this, they became indignant at James and John. So Jesus summoned and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very interesting episode in the life of Jesus. By this time, he had picked all 12 apostles. They'd been following him for some time, maybe a couple of years. And just prior uh, to this particular episode, Jesus told them that he was going to Jerusalem and there he would be arrested, convicted, sentenced to death, die, and be buried, and rise on the third day. So Jesus had just said this, just told them about his death. And then up comes James and John, the Zebedee, boys and saying and so when you get into that kingdom you've been talking about we want to be there on your right and left I mean to me that seems rather callous you know Jesus just talked about his dying and they're already worried about what they're going to get it'd be like as if you went to the deathbed of a relative of yours and the person was dying and say now can I have your car can I have the house you know do I get your gold wrist watch or whatever I mean talk about insensitive James and John what were they asking for they were asking for power because Jesus kept talking about the kingdom of heaven and they knew about the kingdoms here on earth the kingdoms in Egypt and Rome and so on so they thought well if he's going to be the king we want to be right next to him in our country today it'd be like someone asking a, a presidential nominee I want to be your vice president I want to be your secretary of state I want to be at the top of the government and Jesus said I can't do that that's not mine to give. You're going to suffer. That's what he meant by drinking the drink I drink and being baptized with baptism, which I'm baptized. And they did suffer. All of them died a martyr's death, except John, although he lived a long life. He died in exile. Now, the other ten are back there listening to this conversation, and they cannot believe what they've just heard. These two pushy brothers have gone up to Jesus, kind of weaseled their way away from the ten, to beat the other ten to get power. So they come to Jesus and say, wait, wait, wait a minute. You know, we want some of that power too. And I think this is one of the times when Jesus must have just been shaking his head and saying, you just don't get it, do you guys? In my kingdom, it's not about power. That's the kingdoms here on earth. He talks about the Gentiles. They lord it over others. Even in the Jewish religion, the Pharisees lorded it over others. Jesus always criticizing them. You make rules for other people to obey. That's not my kingdom. My kingdom is all about service, ministry, going out of your way, going the extra mile, giving the coat and the overcoat, and so on. The beautiful example Jesus gave at the Last Supper. He came in and he washed the feet of his apostles. Normally you'd have a hired boy or girl, whatever, to wash your feet. That's just a common act of hospitality. The dusty feet should be washed by your, by your host or hostess. 
Jesus did this himself on his hands and knees. And when he finished this, do you figure out what just happened? I'm God. I just washed your feet. You've got to do the same thing to other people. If you're going to belong to my kingdom, you have to wash people's feet. And that's figurative. Sometimes we may have to wash people's feet. Our parents who are old and dying and maybe Alzheimer's, we have to bathe them and wash them and take care of them. But washing feet means doing the lowliest, lowliest thing out of love for others. That's the clear message of the gospel. So rather than worrying about power and prestige and who we are better than or smarter than or richer than, whatever, that has nothing to do in the kingdom of God. The question we should ask day in and day out, how can I serve? How can I give of my time? How can I be there for others? In the kingdom of God, greatness is not about power. Greatness is about service, ministry, serving. Let us belong to that style of the kingdom of God. Now let us stand and make our profession of faith the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> Let us confidently approach God's throne of glory and present our needs. For the church, the body of Christ, called to be servant of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, called to serve the common good of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering and dying, called to be united with, with Christ in glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, called to embrace Jesus' life of self-giving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, you hear the prayers of your humble servants. Grant our needs that one day we might share in your eternal glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful. Grant us, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. We make our prayer as we present these gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, 
our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, in all you have created, rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, God, we humbly implore you, by the same Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At his command, we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the Passover meal, the Last Supper, was ended, Jesus took a cup filled with wine, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Our Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, the Bishop of Las Vegas, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. and your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There in that kingdom, we all hope to enjoy one day forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. 
Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now let us pray in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes, Lord, deliver us from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from danger, doubts, and anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace in my peace I give you. Do not look in our sins, look in our faith, our goodness. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, our Savior, how blessed are we who share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Shelter me, O oh God, hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my hope. When my foes surround me, set me high above their reach. By virtue of our baptism, we belong to the kingdom of God. This week, how will you serve others and glorify God? Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts 
that are eternal. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. It's a wonderful Sunday and a great week ahead. Let us go now in peace to love God and one another. Thanks be to God. certainly sure you appreciate the celebration of Mass and how much it means to you and means to so many in the community to be the heart of a worshiping community, to give praise to Christ. And so I ask you uh, in your goodness to continue your support and generous support of our television ministry here in the Diocese of Las Vegas. And may God bless you for your generosity.